This is the C4 Cactus Airflow, the latest concept car from French manufacturer Citroën. It's an upgrade on the existing Cactus production model that promises to cut fuel consumption drastically, delivering a range of 100 kilometers on just two liters of fuel. It pairs a petrol engine with hybrid air technology, which, as Citroën's Pierre Monferini explains, uses waste kinetic energy to compress air, which can then be used to help provide thrust. On the rear, under the trunk, you have a compressed air tank. And then, when you decelerate, the engine compresses the air, and when the car restarts, when you go forward, the compressed air helps the car to move. So you save a lot of energy like this and a lot of fuel. The prototype is lighter than the current production model and has enhanced aerodynamics, including front air intakes on the bumper and shutters on the wheels, which automatically adjust to improve airflow. Monferini says the hybrid air powertrain stores the compressed air in tanks that are lighter and less expensive than equivalent lithium-ion batteries. It's more simple. Uh, it works uh, in uh, very bad uh, climate conditions, for example, in all countries. It doesn't use some very expensive materials like lithium, for example. So it has a lot of advantages. All in all, Monferini says fuel consumption can be reduced by up to 30%. Citroën's French rival Renault also presented its small concept car, which only has three gears the first two working with the electric engine and the third gear starting the petrol engine. It boasts an ambitious target of just one litre of fuel per 100 kilometres. Time will tell if battery power or air power, or a combination of both, will provide the most efficient way forward. Europe's car sales are on the up again after a six-year slump, and car companies are hoping to gain market share by offering hybrid cars to combat rising fuel costs and a stagnant EU economy.